Well, hopefully. Um, so far, uh, just seem a little less immune infiltrated some, than some of the other cancers, and there's been less signal from early studies that immunotherapy works. Um, there was a phase two that compared uh, ipilimumab to ipilimumab plus nivolumab, and similar to other immunotherapy studies and other tumors, most patients didn't benefit, but a minority of patients had pretty good responses that were pretty prolonged time-wise over a year, or I think in one case, almost two years, which is quite remarkable. But the vast majority of people, it, you know, they had to go off the drugs within several months. So just like other diseases, we would like to identify a biomarker um, to help us select patients. The other kind of problem is that our, our main therapy is a kinase inhibitor. And so what we've learned from mouse models of it is when you first give a kid inhibitor to a mouse with GIST, initially that stimulates the immune response and it also directly kills the cells, the tumor cells. But over time, it seems to dampen the immune response. So it kind of cuts both ways immunologically. And so what we're trying to figure out or what the world is trying to figure out, because I don't do <laughs> immunology research, um, is can you take patients and give them kinase inhibitors, get the direct response on the tumor, and then can we re-engage the immune system by adding something else? Um, so I think you know that's pretty exciting. We think that's the future, but we can't quite figure out how to do that yet.